Hello everyone, welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today we're going to be looking at another head coach hiring. This time it is going to be the new Philadelphia Eagles head coach, Nick Sirianni. So we're going to be taking a look at him, talking about his background, who some of the assistants are that are going to be coming over with him, and whether or not I think it's going to be a good or a bad hire. But without further ado, we'll get talking about Mr. Nick Sirianni and his background. So he is 39 years old, so a relatively young coach. He started off his coaching career in 2004 at Mountain Union. He was there from 2004 to 2005 as a defensive backs coach. Uh, it's also where he played his college ball at. Then he moved on to IUP from 2006 to 2008 as the wide receiver coach there, and that is Indiana University, Pennsylvania, which is actually in Indiana, Pennsylvania. I really haven't heard of this school before this, but kind of looked it up just a little bit before making this video. Then he was with the Chiefs from 2009 to 2012. He had a couple different roles there. He was assistant quarterback coach, quality control coach, and then lastly, their wide receiver coach. Then he was with the Chargers from 2013 to 2017. He started off as a quality control coach with the Chargers in 2013. 2014, 2015, he was the quarterback coach there. 2016, 2017, he was the wide receiver coach for the Chargers. Then from 2018 until he was hired by the Eagles, he was the offensive coordinator for the Indianapolis Colts under head coach Frank Wright. So he's got a decent amount of experience for somebody his age, kind of worked in a couple different organizations so far. A wide variety of roles. Definitely he got a more offensive-minded head coach. It will be real interesting to see how he does in Philadelphia. A lot of people were surprised by this, including myself. He wasn't really a name that was garnering a lot of interest in the head coaching world. Uh, so it was kind of a surprise move. At one point, it kind of looked like they were either going to hire Josh McDaniels or Todd Bowles, but obviously that didn't happen. So they must have seen something they liked in him. Or I have another theory, and that's that, you know, he was around Frank Wright for the last couple of years. He was with him with the Chargers for a little while, too. So he knows Frank Wright real well. You know, Frank Wright's been the person that has had the most success, got the most out of Carson Wentz. So I think this could be an attempt to save Carson Wentz. And that's a sticky situation there, too. You know, you got Carson Wentz, Jalen Hurts. Personally, I'm a huge fan of Jalen Hurts. I think they need to move forward in his direction, but we'll see what ends up happening with that. It does feel like a desperate move to kind of resurrect Carson Wentz's career. Another thing that people kind of talk about, too, is uh, Sirianni did not call plays with the Indianapolis Colts. Frank Wright did that, but even when you're not calling plays, you still have a little bit of say in it. You know, you're kind of going through the stuff as it goes. You're still rallying the offense together so there is a lot of different aspects there whether or not he's going to call plays for the eagles remains to be seen but overall i think this is a hire that could be really good or really bad just depending on how you look at it depending on if the goal is actually to save carson wentz or not if it is and carson wentz is successful it's going to be a good hire if it is trying to save carson wentz and he doesn't play well it could end very badly or you just pivot to Jalen Hurts and you just roll with Jalen Hurts and he's awesome. It just kind of depends on what their goal as an organization is. Then, since he's been hired, they have hired the offense and defensive coordinator in terms of assistance so far. And that offensive coordinator is going to be Shane Steichen. He's 35 years old. Most recently was the offensive coordinator for the Los Angeles Chargers. But he started his coaching career at Louisville in 2010 as an offensive assistant. Then he was with the Chargers from 2011 to 2012 as a defensive assistant. One year with the Browns as an offensive quality control coach. Then from 2014 to 2020, he's been with the Chargers. He worked as an offensive quality control coach, quarterback coach. 2019, he became the interim offensive coordinator. And then 2020, he was the offensive coordinator. You've seen him have a lot of success with Justin Herbert. Hopefully, some of that transfers over, whether it's towards Carson Wentz or Jalen Hurts, kind of like what he talked about with Sirianni already. Like I said, it's going to be real interesting between these two guys to see who's going to call plays. I would like to see uh, Sirianni kind of hand that play calling duty over, though. I think that's the best case scenario. And then on defense, you've got Jonathan Gannon, who's going to be the defensive coordinator. I believe he's around 37 years old. Doesn't really say online, but I just kind of did an estimated timeline compared to when he was in college. And now he's got a little bit of an interesting story, honestly. So he started off his coaching career very, very young. From 2003 to 2005, he was a voluntary coach at Louisville. He was also a player at the same time. So he was kind of a player coach, which you don't hear too much about in college. Usually it's like that fifth year redshirt senior quarterback that's like third or fourth on the depth chart that's kind of working as a graduate assistant. 
Then 2006, he was a graduate assistant at Louisville as well. Then he was with the Falcons in 2007 as a defensive quality control coach. Uh, with the Rams from 2009 to 2011, he spent time there in their scouting department. So a guy that has taken on a lot of roles in that regard. Then he moved on to the Titans 2012, 2013 as a defensive quality control coach. Then with the Vikings from 2014 to 2017, where he worked as a defensive quality control coach and an assistant defensive backs coach. Then from 2018 until he was hired by the Eagles, he was the defensive backs coach for the Colts. It's definitely an interesting hire, but you know, he does have some history with Sirianni, so it's somebody that he knows well. Sometimes that ends up good, sometimes that not so much. Especially when you're a younger guy, first time defensive coordinator. Hopefully they can bring in somebody that's like a defensive line coach, linebacker coach, with some more experience to kind of help round out that defense as well. The Eagles do have talent on defense. Do not make any mistake about that. But their defense had not performed up to standards last year. I know they got really banged up towards the end of the last year though. So it's going to be a definitely an interesting hire. See if they can kind of get this Eagles team all together, bring them together, build a winner out of this team. You know, you're going to have a lot of big decisions to make. They're really not in the best position in terms of cap space. You know, you got a lot of guys that were hurt this past year. Hopefully getting some of them offensive linemen back is going to help the offense overall. Hopefully you can get Miles Sanders healthy. Hopefully you figure out this quarterback situation, whether it's Carson Wentz or Jalen Hurts. Hopefully you just have one guy, you stick with him, and roll with it. But knowing the Eagles, who knows that that's going to be the case. Um, You know, getting that defense together, they could probably use some improvements at linebacker, probably a second cornerback as well. So if they can build some of the needs that their team has in the draft, they definitely are going to be in a good position to succeed. You know, they have that number six pick. Probably looking at another wide receiver there to pair with Jalen Rager and some of the other young wide receivers that they do have. It's going to be a real interesting offseason for the Philadelphia Eagles. And this new coaching change and some of the assistance they're bringing in is definitely going to be a major part of that as well. Uh, But with that being said, you know, I think this is a hire that could end up good or it could end up bad. Part of it could be tied to Carson Wentz and his success or Jalen Hurts. It just depends on how the organization decides to handle that quarterback situation. Uh, But with that being said, I'm really, really interested to hear your guys' thoughts about Nick Sirianni being hired as the Philadelphia Eagles' next head coach. Like I said, it was a shock. Not many of us predicted him going there. You know, this was the only head coaching spot that he actually interviewed for. So it was a little bit of a surprise to many of us. And once again, if you are a Philadelphia Eagles fan, be sure to leave it down in the comments saying, hey, I'm an Eagles fan. I think this is a good hire because I think this is a bad hire because definitely interested in hearing what you guys have to say you know if you guys are new to my channel i really appreciate you checking it out for the first time if you're already been watching some of my videos and you're not subscribed yet be sure to subscribe it really helps build the community that we're trying to build here at coach craig sports and that's really one for you the viewers going over fantasy football talking about dfs you know for the nfl we're gonna have one more week of dfs and that's gonna be for the super bowl that's a single game slate so we're gonna be really in depth on that one trying to break it down I'm also going to be covering a lot of football news this offseason. I'm working on a project scouting a lot of the players for the 2021 NFL Draft class. Once I'm done with that, I'll be glad to share some of that with you guys. My thoughts on each prospect, who I think are some of the guys that could be sleepers in this draft class, and some of the guys that I think could end up being bust. Definitely going to be an interesting offseason. But with that being said, if you're a new or current subscriber has yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It'll let you know every single time I post up a new video. And we're pretty much done with the head coaching training videos. The Texans are the only team left with the head coach to hire. We could talk a little bit more about that situation. I kind of went over some of the candidates already. So I'm probably going to wait until they hire someone. Some of the videos that I have planned coming out are going to be based on fantasy football from this past season. Look at how guys finished versus like my rankings where I thought they were going to finish heading into the season. And I think that's going to be a real interesting one to look at. We're going to look at back at some of the, my breakout picks for this year as well, seeing how they did and if they broke out or not. Then I'm going to look back at the bold predictions that I had going into this season, seeing which ones came true and which ones were kind of far-fetched. That being said, I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It definitely means a lot to me, and I hope you guys all enjoyed this, and have a great rest of your day.